Hey guys, um, it's a rainy day here. It's about 426 on Monday. I'm at uh, Saint Street and I, um, I got a little presentation here that I wanted to share with you. Uh, it's not complete, but uh, it'll give you a sense of uh, some of the things I was mentioning the other day and, and, um, and, and some of the things I I'm, would like to propose. This is not a, a formal proposal. I'm not asking that anything happen. This is just to share with you uh, some of my thoughts and, and what, I, what I believe we're being called to. So here we go. Uh, I think we need to freshen our image. And that means a lot of different things from uh, a new logo, new looks in certain areas, and, uh, and just the way we're perceived by, uh, by our, our public. Uh, we need to consider going global, whatever that means, and we're going to explore that a little bit in a minute. Uh, and we need to expand our opportunities and roles to maximize our effectiveness. Uh, for a fresh image, a fresh palette, a fresh logo, this is the one that I, I've done a lot of over the time I've been here. This is the one I'm, I'm interested in. Uh, I think it's kind of exciting. It's very different uh, from where we've been. The concept of 80 players 2.015 is, uh, is just a, that wouldn't necessarily stay with the logo, but I like the concept that we're, uh, we're looking at a, a new iteration, a new version, uh, our next version of, uh, of the players. I think that has some uh, some legs. Uh, then going global, we're, uh, we're looking at a couple of different things. Obviously our website uh, needs a tremendous amount of work, probably just uh, unplugging and, um, and a total redesign. Uh, I, uh, I've been working on a, a lot on our website, just playing around with uh, things. This this program will show you some structure. I won't be showing you any examples of the website today, but uh, we know we need video on the on the at the first page on our home page. We know we need things to move uh, and be updated much more often, at least daily, maybe multiple times a day as we grow. And uh, that's just not happening right now. Everybody's aware of that. So we know to, to really have a global presence, we have, to, uh, we have to do better with our website. Then uh, I've come up with something I'm calling the Believer Artist Network. Believer Artist is a, is a phrase Ms., Mrs. George is very uh, actively uses. I like it a lot. Uh, I went ahead and purchased today or yesterday the BelieverArtist.com. BelieverArtist.org and BelieverArtist.net. All these, of course, will be transferred to the players if we think that's a good thing to do. Um, I believe it gives us, um, there's an awful lot of folks that I believe will come along with us, uh, Parables Television, uh, just people all over the world that will be become a part of us um, under the Believer Artist Network, which is an AD player product. Uh, the, one of the really nice things about the Believer Artist is things like the Believer Artist magazine, which um, would be a digital publication as well as uh, a hard copy publication if we chose to, to do that. I think uh, similar uh, magazines like uh, uh, the one I can't think of the name of right now, it's not... Relevant. It's called Relevant. is a is a well received publication and uh, uh, it has a lot of, to do with uh, entertainment, Christian entertainment, and all that kind of thing. But it makes us by by setting ourselves up as a believer artist magazine, uh, it gives us our rightful place as as the leader in Christian theater. But beyond that, in Christian me media, we become a real player which I believe is how we should be positioned. This particular cover is, is exciting to me because um, we, and here I've, made, I've arbitrarily made uh, Mrs. George the uh, 2014 Believer Artist of the Year. And by being the first recipient of the Believer Artist of the Year, the, uh, 
the statuary or the, the prize, the award, would then become the Jeanette Cliff George Believer Artist of the Year Award, which is normal to have the, uh, the, the award be named after the first recipient. So I, I'm excited about that. Then we could do other, uh, other magazines. Um, I, I did the Interactive Christian last year, and it, it really was a, a good experience. Um, learned a lot. I think we have a real opportunity here. I show the, the Sadie and, and Mitchell sink uh, from St. Street to Broadway. Uh, in this article, uh, they've already agreed to do a to do a, an interview with us. Uh, this would be one of the magazines that we would uh, they would be featured in in that magazine. The digital part of the magazine would would of course feature video as well as uh, as print. So uh, these kind of things are very popular, and there's a broad range of ways that we can distribute and actually charge for subscriptions at some point if it gets to be that uh, that well received but in-house we can also use the publication uh, to take the place of uh, it maybe sometimes maybe always as our uh, playbill so in the printing of, of and heavily heavily uh, advertised I believe that the believer artist magazine can have some really strong national advertising in it uh, as opposed to one of our playbills but we can do a a subprint in that it becomes our playbill for the show so so uh, there's a lot of economy of scale uh, in doing this and uh, plus I think it looks pretty good too uh, this is an art chart don't let this scare you and you probably can't read it uh, but this is what I've really been working on this weekend is is all the things that we have going for us or could have going for us and uh, in a structure. I'm not going to go over this today because it's it's just very complicated and, and unwielding, but I do think it's an art chart that we should consider. Uh, it has our, our major, uh, it has AD Productions, which is our theatrical productions, film and television and streaming, which I believe we should look at getting into in the future. It's got our Believer Artist Network, which um, I've explained, but that would have our Creative Alliances under it, as well as Ministry Alliances. Our Guild would probably be under there as well, depending on what the future is for the Guild. Uh, I've got a section here for Jeanette Cliff George Ministries, uh, for JCG Live, JCG TV, and Manner of Grace. I know Manner of Grace, unlike everything else in this whole uh, component-driven uh, piece, is a for-profit company, but uh, uh, that's I'm sure we can deal with that one way or another. They can just simply become a vendor. Theater Arts Academy, uh, satellites, online, uh, lots of things there that can happen. I, I believe that that's a huge area of growth for us. And as we as we increase the worldwide presence of the Believer Artist Network and the AD Players, we um, the Theater Arts Academy will be probably its number one beneficiary. The Neon Fish concept is uh, taking uh, what's currently we have at, at Saint Street as a possible black box like Mrs. George has, uh, has talked about, and then also making it a late night venue where we can do staged readings, we can do things that uh, we can do workshops with our shows, and because of, of some church involvements in there, including my, our own church at Bethany, who is more than willing for us to uh, to expand over into some of their space to do classes and things for Ta? I think we'll be able to get more bang out of um, Saint Street and uh, and get into uh, situations where we can actually charge or pass the hat or something. So we could have money uh, earned income coming in from some of these these things. Creation Ranch is something I own. Creation Ranch LLC. Uh, I own the website, I own the, the concept, but it's really a pretty cool concept. Uh, what we would do is, um, if Patty and I donated this to the players, um, the idea would be that in Waller is where we were looking, but somewhere near Houston, but, but out in the country, we would find acreage and it would become a, a destination uh, uh, for a believer artists, for students, for filmmakers, uh, we could build sets out on it uh, close enough to Houston where where it's easy to come into and, and leave from. We have about uh, eight filmmakers that I've talked to that are interested in 
populating that um, if we were to pull it off. Uh, it could be a great retreat haven for um, for Christian communities, uh, classes, uh, churches to retreat to. It could be a destination for tourists, and it would complement our uh, our presence on Westheimer, I think, in a really strong way. So that we'd have the rural location as well as the uh, the very hot uh, Galleria area property. Plus, hopefully. I don't know how this is going to play out, but hopefully we could still have some retention in the uh, in the Upper Kirby area too, where um, where there's so much growth being experienced. Anyway, that's uh, that's an overview of what I'm what I'm thinking right now. I'm sure you'd think I'm crazy, and you won't you wouldn't be the first one. <laughs> uh, these are just a couple of verses that uh, uh, that you guys know really well, but I just uh, just you know they they both came to my mind and. Uh, it's kind of where we are, that we are to be uh, Christ's witnesses in Jerusalem and Judea and Samaria and to the ends of the earth. And with our global approach now, um, I think uh, we can excite believer artists, people that support the arts, uh, just Christians in general, our board. I think suddenly everything about our future uh, and becomes much more secure in the fact that we have a plan. It's a global plan, not just a, a very focused local plan. And, uh, and there's a lot of revenue streams built into this that would make, I believe, would make investors and supporters and foundations uh, excited about coming along to see what God's doing and what we're trying to step up and, <laughs> and catch up in some ways uh, and also be patient and wait on God uh, where that's appropriate. Thanks for the opportunity, guys. Uh, there'll be lots more coming if you want it. Uh, you'll never hear of it again if you don't. All that's cool with me. I just, uh, when this comes, I feel obligated to, to lay it out for you. See you this week. Bye-bye.